All right, hey everyone, it's me, Damian, and welcome to a different kind of video today. Um, as you may know, in a previous video, I mentioned that I would actually give a proper introduction to my father's fox body, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, what you can see right here is this is my father's 1988 fox body. It is, of course, the GT, and it, as of course, as you know, it has the 5-liter five, five V8 in it. And, um, you know, the story of the car is that he's actually had the car for actually over 10 years now, my father. Originally he bought it when we lived in the Netherlands and you know he did a lot of work to it and you know from a young age I was also into cars and when he got this car and started working it although I was young and not super interested into cars just yet I, I, occasionally I would join him and I would work on, on the car with him just kind of you know pass him the wrenches and then st things like that and you know when he got this car and how he restored it that kind of made me even more and Pretty much as soon as the car was done, and I was probably, I would say, 14 at the time, I said, right, you know, I want my first car to be a Mustang. And that's exactly what, as you know, I have a 95 Mustang GD, which I'm restoring right now. So, you know, I would say that definitely his Mustang has also played quite an influence in my choice. But, you know, it's in the, I guess it's also in the blood, you know, father and son, you know, it's, it just carries. So I'm just going to give you a quick round, uh, quick, quick tour of the car and just, over some minor details so originally he bought it in the Netherlands and you know when we moved here to the US he said you know there's no way I'm gonna the amount of work I put into it there's no way I'm just gonna sell it so he decided to spend the money and get it and ship it over here it took like two months to for it to arrive but it was worth it because he you know the price he paid for for it to, be, to come over here was worth it because there was not even a single scratch on it from when it came so ever since my father has owned the car he's always garage kept it and you can really see it you can really tell by looking at just the exterior of the car um also looking at the car you know it is stock you know and it's really nice because you don't often see fox bodies like you know clean fox bodies like this that are st still in stock shape so yeah so yeah as you can see he still got this the factory oem wheels the turbine wheels you know some people hate them but I, I personally like them. At some point he will need to get them kind of redone because as you can see they're starting to show these signs of, I don't know, they've, I don't know, it's like this white stuff, I don't even know what it's called, but you know, I'm sure he'll take care of it someday. But yeah, the car is, as you can see, it's pretty much in stock shape. I mean, he, he reached, regarding the exterior, he's not done anything. Um, as you can see, I mean, even here on the rear bumper he has the NL, which is the the abbreviation for the Netherlands so that, that kind of makes it really unique that he still has it and obviously he's gonna keep it on there he has the cheese, cheese grater tail lights as they like to call them but you know you know most people kind of get rid of them but you know he's kept them so I'll show you the engine bay in a bit but you know he's done a he the restoration he did is it's a lot I mean he really did like his whole engine bay I'll show as I said I'll show you in a second he uh, there was there were oil leaks everywhere so the whole engine bay looked really bad so it took a lot of work and time and just money for him to restore it but he did that over the years and also he upgraded the shocks and the struts i can't rem i can't remember what brand he he went for and as well as this um regarding the exhaust um which i'll show you later on in the video it's the uh he has he only upgraded the cat back and he has the dynamax ultra flow and it sounds pretty nice i mean it's not very loud but when you put your foot down, it screams, like, it, it actually screams, so, I personally like his exhaust, um, so, yeah, you, as I said, you hear the exhaust at the end of the video, so make sure you, you stay to, to see it. So, having shown you the exterior of the car, now I was going to really quickly show you the interior, before showing you the engine bay, and as I said, finishing off with the video with just a, just a, just a startup of the engine. As you can see, his interior is very clean. This is actually all original interior, he, which he has on the car. Originally, of course, when he bought it, he had to clean it up a little bit, but I mean, the seats are in absolute perfect condition. Sure, we need to clean them like it's again at some point, but as you can see, the car is in very good shape. And I mean, just everything, it's just so well kept. You know, he's taken very good care of it. And you know, now that I've grown up and I, of course, have my license, he lets me drive it occasionally, so you know, it's a really nice thing for me to drive, but also it's a quite a, quite a responsibility. And of course, I make sure, although I like to, you know, put my foot down occasionally, I do my best to, you know, make sure nothing happens with it. Because the car, as I said, was it was originally imported into Europe and into the Netherlands. And as you can see, this is why the speedometer, the main readings are in kilometers. 
So yeah, and as you can see, the odometer is also in kilometers. And doing the calculation right now, he roughly has around just over 70,000 miles on the car, which is, I mean, for an 88, that's like nothing, okay? Just over 70,000 miles on this car is like nothing. So, you know, he's done a really good job. Um, as you said, the only thing which he kind of doesn't like about the car, and which I, I agree with him, is that it's automatic, but still, you know, you know, it, it, it drives really well. It's also nice to cruise in. As you can see, he also has the... Uh, st he still has the original radio and everything. Even see the rear seats, everything is just original and it's such a good shape. So, you know, the cars, we, me and my father are forever gonna take care of it like we've always been until now, so yeah. So, as you can see, this is the engine bay of the car. Um, as, you can, as I already said, he put a lot of work into this and actually at some point soon, we'll actually need to clean it up a bit. As you can see, starting to have some dust on the top, but as I said, he put a lot of work into it. And also the interesting thing is that Basically, all the parts that he put, he installed on the car while he was restoring it. He had to bring them from the U.S. back to the Netherlands. So, with his old job, when wherever, so whenever he went on a mission to the U.S., he would just buy order. Like he would, he would leave the Netherlands with his suitcase practically empty. You know, get get over here, buy all the parts he needs, and then ship them, take him, take him, take them in the suitcase back with him to the Netherlands, and then install them in the car. That's exactly what he also did with the exhaust, which was definitely, as as I, he said, the most challenging part. Cutting up the exhaust in his hotel room and just, you know, just fitting it in the suitcase and then leaving at the last minute. So, yeah. But as I said, this is the engine bay. Uh, it's basically all stock. He, he, he has replaced the head gaskets before, but, I mean, uh, the engine is still stock. He, as you can see, he still has the stock intake. I really like how... The Mishimoto hoses and also his spark plug wires stand out and, you know, really bring the engine bay to life and, you know, he put a lot of work into it, so, you know, it's really nice to see. And now, you know, me and him restoring mine, I cannot wait to, for mine to look just like his and maybe even, maybe even better, we'll see, we'll see. So as I promised, I'm now going to show you how the car sounds when you start it up. So I forgot to mention also that you'll definitely be seeing uh, plenty more videos of the Fox body as well in the near future here on the channel. Um, as you know, of course, the main focus at, of the, at the moment of the channel is the restoration of my Mustang. But, you know, regarding his there, I, there's a good list of things that need to be done to it at some point. Um, you know, just like any old car there, you've always got some maintenance to do. So, for example, on his, you definitely at some point, because he has a, a minor leak from the rear main seal, we have to take out the transmission and replace the rear main seal and also his differentials occasionally you can notice a few drops from there so at some point we have to take the differential just open it up replace the gasket you know replace the oil in the differential so you know there's plenty of things that of course need to be done to it although it's running strong which is a good thing there's definitely things that need to be done to it but all of that's going to happen once my mustang is complete so but definitely you'll be seeing videos of the Fox body on the channel and yeah. So yeah, as you can see, my Mustang is right here, the 95. And you know, I cannot wait to the day we complete my project and you know, we can just both go cruising together, you know, attending car meets, car shows. I, I cannot wait, but sooner or later that day will come. So yeah, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the next video comes out. And yeah, bye.